what I would like to what I would like to deliver the message to the youth is that when it comes to imagining a radically different future and then acting upon it, not to put too much responsibility on, on you, but it is precisely a, a youth contingent and that, that perception that the youth has as well as the, the energy and the desire that will make that radically different future possible. So I guess my last thing would be, my, my last point would be to push the youth to think uh, radically, to, to think as a young person full of energy and ideas and not constrained in the same way that um, old people are, uh, to think radically and then uh, work towards that radically different future. If you can do it. I think that's a great point to end on and um, definitely a rallying cry that I feel like a lot of us need to take on board because um, yeah we definitely need to try and be as radical as possible I think to ensure some big changes that are important. I think that's right I'm always a little bit wary of, of putting because uh, it does put quite um, the onus <laughs> of responsibility on the youth and that's not what I mean it's not a way to oh well we've you know, it's too late for us. So it's all over to you. It's, it's working, it's working mm -hmm. with, with the youth, of course. But yeah, working collaboratively, definitely. I think collaboratively, so yeah. But um, <laughs> some of my best, some of the best ideas come from people, it, it, people of all ages, but the youth tend to have a different perspective um, precisely because they're, they're thinking, um, they're not constrained, as I said, they're not in old habits of, you know, mortgage and moving slowly and they're thinking more they they tend to think more radically about what can be achieved more there's more possibilities generally <laughs>